All right, so we got IGN's Trepang 2 review. Let's go to the video. Let's see what they think about it. Shout out to Ashton. Shout out to the, uh, Oh my God. Shout out to uh, Trepang Some of 2. Some the most memorable Trepang action Studios games I've ever played are 2012's Max Payne For watching my, uh, for watching my video. Theater. Comment it down. Trepang 2. Shout out to y'all, man. Appreciate it. On those memories of slow motion action and strong enemy I can't lie. AI this kind of reminds me of like yeah, a first person really Max Payne. Trepang yeah. 2. No, it has nothing to do with the sea cucumbers of the same name. Instead, this is a first-person stealth action shooter that's tilted decidedly toward action. It's got plenty oh of excellent God. running and gunning, and while its story isn't all that frightening, there are occasional successful jump scares that mix up oh, the near constant okay. mayhem of battling its surprisingly smart commandos. Hey, what, gun, what, what guns are those? Are those like FedEx? And unimaginative minds. Granted, it's also a little bit short if you're only focused on its main objectives, but okay. that just means it never outstays its welcome. This game looks a lot of fun. I don't think this game is meant to like give you like a deep dive of like a campaign. I'm sensing out already. Trepang 2's just from the just from the uh, campaign, like the gameplay that I'm just now seeing. Of subject 106, a generic super soldier type, working for no the offense to like the campaign. Secret Task Force 27. You be here. After escaping a chilly underground Alaskan prison, you spend the next 10 or so hours in pursuit of the evil overlords of the Horizon Corporation. Okay. A Dr. Evil-like entity that's notorious for its failed Dr. attempts at creating EBL. its own super soldiers, among other evil schemes. Oh! What ensued was a series of video game and action movie cliches, executed with such over-the-top violence that I had no problem suspending my disbelief, often in unimpeded bliss. Oh my, oh my god. That is, except for when Trepang 2's gimmicky and cheap monsters popped on screen in classic jump scare fashion. Okay, bro, Before that's not even, just that's sort not of even. Bro, look at him, he got like eight hits, bro! Thrusting me right back into its gory oh military shooter inspired action without more than a shrug and an occasional intel entry with, you know, some sort of grotesque drawing on it. These little demons. But let's be clear, these monster encounters are perfectly fun. I'm just disappointed that Trepang 2 doesn't lean into them even more. Some excellent setups, like a creepy homage to the backrooms meme, create a dark atmosphere to set some fights in. That made me so angry. That but jump scare just came out of nowhere. More than oh, one obviously, it's jump scare. Level at one time a piece. There's no character Bro. like here's Alma Wade keeping the steady tension of a more personal horror story rolling under the waves of Trepang 2's action, and as a result, the Horizon Corporation and all of its monsters come across as satirical rather than spooky. But there's little indication that that's done on purpose. At its best, Trepang 2 is a clear tribute to the dreary... You know what Tre uh, Trepang 2 reminds me of? It reminds me of a Call of Duty version of Doom. All the Does that make sense? Melodrama to slow down its or pacing no. between battles, a la Fear 2 or Doom 3. Most of the time, it deftly connects the I just corridors said Doom. its various Wait, I literally just said that. That's crazy. ...with a steady supply of boss fights that are often fun but simple, in that they rely on a single gimmick. That's the not Mothman, a bad thing. for instance, chases you around a maze-like structure and can only take damage on specific parts of his Bro, body. Bro, he reminds me of the one-armed guy from uh from Left 4 Dead. You guys remember the, the big bulky dude that ran at you like like Ray Lewis? You guys remember him? With weapon customization parts I remember him. And bits of intel to gradually explain what's going on, which turns out to not be that interesting. Action radius. Halfway through the first level, you're already introduced to Subject 106's nifty cloak and time-slowing focus abilities. Bro, he's going crazy with the shotgun, with bro. The that lets you dive into a crouching position whenever you want. These abilities give you superhuman prowess oh, in most nice. situations. Oh, got like special effects. I like that. But not so much that Trepang 2 ever made me feel overpowered, at least once I turned the difficulty up a notch or two. I'm not much of a stealth player, and it always seemed that like the cooldown timer Same, for my cloak ability was a bit too long for my tastes anyway, so I generally forgot about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I didn't okay. miss it, because great level design is far more important to stealth than a lazy invisibility button. Ooh. Trepang 2 often lets you just shoot out lights to pass under the cover of darkness. That's smart though, I like or that. Or set some traps for a good old gillied up time. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's especially important to they drop a, they drop a grenades like uh what's that one so perfect call of duty Marty Dumps? And they will remember that <laughs> group up on you. Oh, they're on fire. You're you're up in there. It's burning hot. They're on fire. Oh my god. Open-ended combat across its six primary and six side missions. 
wherein it's eight highly customized Do he got weapons, two snipers in his hand? Oh, okay, I'm about to say. And kill everyone in sight on my own terms. I say, is bro shooting two, two snipers? Like, isn't really about see. choosing the right gun. Every weapon is viable in every battle, whether you're dual wielding assault rifles or finessing your way through enemy squads with a single handgun. That's crazy. Being able to like shoot with Instead, two assault rifles. It's all about carving out the right approach. Aside from the rank and file enemy soldiers armed with SMGs and pistols, many of Trepang's enemy types are shielded or armored and only vulnerable to headshots. Some come equipped with long. That was actually pretty cool, though. I can't lie, that riot shield scene. That, that was pretty cool. You off when you stray out of cover, and some will even chase you around with explosives in hand. Each enemy demands a different approach, and my favorite moments were when I was Bro, surrounded the way by he's sides just... with a vast array of different variants. <laughs> the way he's forcing just me to improvise shooting them and just catching them. Specific weapon or tactic. Pistols, SMGs, shotguns, assault oh rifles, God. and DMRs can all be dual wielded once you find the hilariously titled dual wield serum, and it adds an extra dimension to gunplay in that you can become lethal at close range while dual wielding any weapon. Though you'll still struggle to pick off enemies from afar. I mean, obviously, if you have like Likewise, two Phoenix, like you're not really gonna. Disappointing. You can only dual wield identical weapons, so there's no uh, mix and match. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense though. That makes SMG. sense though. But I can't like have like a sniper on my left hand then have like a pistol on my right hand. Armored bad guys in slow I get that. motion, brandishing two shotguns or assault rifles like toys. The oh reload my animation God. I like that. I can I like that feature. Shotguns will never cease to make me laugh. I love that feature. The duo shotgun. I like the way he's just frenzy of Trapang flip to combat it, bro. is a I like melee that. button that feels great to use and lets you beat your enemies down or unleash Is he reloading in midair? I was about to say, how are you going to take him out? Easy and often hilariously fun to direct the flow of the carnage in slow-mo. Oh my god. Infinite. They have infinite ammo? Ooh. It's great that you can pick up different parts as collectible items in each mission, but it's a slight disappointment that you can't alter your loadout just anywhere. Every add-on comes with a drawback that's described in text, such as the pistol's laser sight making you more visible to enemies, or the oh. shotgun's unfolded I mean, stock it's making it's reload time I like slower it. in exchange for better I like that there's, that there's, So it all feels like balanced and often broadens the number of viable playstyles available. I can't lie, bro. This game looks really fun, bro. Wild action also it's like a running gun type, awesome. but I like that. Sparks and blood fly in all directions at gloriously high frame rates in 2K resolution at max settings on PC, even when the action that's good though especially like there's like a lot of a, when there's like a lot going on bro aging geforce rtx 2080 super bro he got that warzone movie you saw him Some sliding around bro colorless. that was nice like i can't lie shooter from the xbox i'm liking the movement era, so far i can't lie action truly comes together in some of its more detailed environments okay in the horizon hq area for instance well, the of festival of carnage is contrasted against arrays of led panels bro. refracting colorful waves of light that across looks the tower's so glimmering pretty, marble bro. floors Look at that! Look at the way. Wow. I've seen better, of course. That looked nice. I like those hot colors. to a halt, even when tens of things were happening at once, giving an almost consistently smooth shoot 'em up. Bro, it's like every enemy is, is getting like 20 bullets, bro. Like a decently sized hub area ties everything together between <laughs> missions, and this is where bro, you can honestly, bro. customize your loadout and restock your armor and equipment. It's like, bro, if you're getting shoot, if you're getting shot with two guns, bro, he's getting he's getting shot some by like extra replayability here. If you're Are those all the maps? I got a lot of maps in that game. With increasingly tough challenges, though those just involve beating the same missions over and over again at higher difficulty levels. Okay. This puts you in front of tougher boss fights, including some that only appear at higher levels. In exchange oh, for all the okay, trouble, like that. you unlock some cheat codes and some secret gags. Granted, okay. they're delightfully old school and range from things like infinite ammo to a big head mode that makes shooting bad guys in their faces just that way much easier. sillier. And hey, at least it's a chaotic joy to go back through the campaign <laughs> big with head those mode. different configurations of cheats, <laughs> especially because of how easy it is to just toggle them on and off from a menu. I imagine like the, I imagine like the aim assist in this game is like easier. Would you say it's easier? The aiming looks Trepang simple in this game. a delightful tribute shooter that brings the relentless yet intelligent What's IG and get it? creative action. I bet IG is going to give it like a seven. Modern standards of 2023. Its diverse enemy encounters and already have my rating. design are top notch, though it's less successful when it occasionally dips into lukewarm survival horror elements, and that's when it becomes apparent that it could have okay. really used a stronger story and better scares. I in told light you, of I told all you. that, it's wise that it leans harder on action than stealth throughout. 
often keeping pace with the best first-person shooters when firefights heat up. However, it still ends a bit more quickly than I'd have hoped, even after padding out its length All and right, higher difficulty on. modes and side missions. Trepang 2 feels like a strong prototype for a Trepang 3 that pairs this great action with a less paint-by-numbers story and an extended campaign. What are they going to give it? But in the meantime, I'll happily go back in and play it all over again with the media. That's mine. That was my rating. Locked. I promise you, I was going to give this game an eight. Starship Troopers Extermination Early Access and Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun. And for everything else, hey. stick with that GN. Listen, hey. Tri what? Okay. Um. Speak. <laughs> Again, shout out to Trepang Studios. Um, they actually watched my last um, trailer reaction. Um, I think it was to like the first Trepang uh, trailer, I think. I don't know. I forget. It was a long time ago. But um, listen, that was literally my radio. I was going to give it. I promise you, you may not even know. I was like, I expected because, you know, listen, IGN, they're critics. Like, they, they're, they're like a tough critic to like, you know, do so. Tri hey, Trepang Studios. Well done. You got an eight from IGN, bro. That's nice. And honestly, I was gonna, I was gonna give it an A too. Like I said earlier in the video, I feel like this like this game. I feel like they focus a lot on like the gameplay, and obviously, like, you know, the campaign's a campaign. Uh, but at the end of the day, I feel like the like you know the actual action and the the gameplay was gonna like was gonna make up for everything. Uh, it looks really fun. I can't lie. I didn't looking at like the first trailer and now looking at this. I can't lie. I didn't expect this game to be a horror game. Hey, hey, Trepang Studios, if you guys know, who, listen, I don't do well with like horror, you know, whatever. I can't lie, you got in the early in the video, you guys got me with that with that jump scare, whatever. Listen, don't ever do it again, okay? But uh, other than that, you know, I. <laughs> uh, early. <laughs> other than that, um, I sorry. Other than that. Uh, I really enjoyed it, bro. It looked really, really, really fun. The movement threw me off. I can't lie. I didn't even expect the, the, the movement to be like that, bro. Like, honestly, hey, if anybody at Trepang Studio, if, if any of you guys, like, play Warzone or whatever, bro, bro, hey, y'all got that Warzone, especially, like, the slide, bro. Y'all got the, like, 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 the quick running gun, like, um, pop a stem, left, right, left, right, slide, bro. That's what y'all get. Y'all got, got that movement, okay? Y'all got that movement. But other than that um honestly i really enjoyed it bro the gameplay looked really 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 nice it looked really fun that's the thing that's the key i feel like this game is really fun if you want a fun game to play i feel like this is a, this is the game that i would definitely recommend uh for a fun game uh it looks nice the monsters are very different like the enemies monsters whatever you guys want to call them i like that it's a mix actually i like how like it's not just like some like super you know big boss whatever also i like it, it, it's like not just like human dudes with guns i like that it's like a mix between it like, i love that um other than that comment down below what do you guys think of trepang 2 and um yeah i think i think it's really cool i was gonna give it an a as well but ign you, you took my number you took my number ign i'll see you guys later for next time i'm out and